Hey, Timothy Unkert here. In this video, I want to show you a trick with Emmet with Vim. So what we can do is we can uh, go, let's first get Emmet. So let's open up a browser here and we'll type Emmet Vim. And we're going to go to this page, uh, Matt and Emmet-Vim on GitHub. And we're just going to go and come here to the code with HTTPS and copy the code. And now what we're going to do is make a directory. I'm going to put a flag dash P dot Vim slash pack slash plugins slash start. And then we'll CD into dot Vim slash pack slash plugins slash start. And we'll clone it. We'll do a git clone of the repository. Okay, so now we'll have uh, Emmet. And if I just do a test.html file, what I can do is do go to insert mode, do an exclamation and do control Y comma and expand it and I get a simple framework. But we can make this a lot better. Okay, so what we can do is we can go scroll down here and let's first change the Emmet leader key. So let's go copy this and we'll uh, quit out of here without saving. Okay, and we'll go and create a Vim RC. And what we'll do is we'll paste this here. And instead, I'm going to change instead of control Z here, I'm going to change this to just a comma. So uh, what I have to do now to trigger Emmet is just do comma comma versus control Y comma. Okay, so that's the first thing. So if I quit out of here, just do another test.html, go here, comma, comma. Uh, I get the Emmet expanding just like that. Now, one thing I didn't do in my VimRC while I'm here is to, um, let's just uh, put syntax on, is what we need, and we'll source that. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, so, there's more that we can do though. You know, this gives us a basic framework, but uh, if we add this snippet here, we get responsiveness. So let's do that. So we'll take that and we'll go down and maybe leave a space here and uh, maybe do a comment, uh, Emmet um, uh, adjustments. I don't know. And then, and I didn't even spell that right, adjustments. All right, and we'll just paste this in, okay? And I'm gonna save this. Let's just source it to make while I'm here to make sure everything's okay. All right, go here. Did I save it? Yeah, I saved test.html. I'm just gonna remove it. And we're gonna start with a new one. Okay, and we'll go to um, insert mode and do comma, comma. And now I've got the viewport. Now I like to keep my viewport my meta tags up together so let's do that okay so i'm going to quit out of here let's just not save this go back into my vim rc that should be easy enough we'll find move this out of the way we'll find this line here uh let's just um do a dd to delete dd and then go up to here and do a p to paste it okay so we're just moving it around okay so now we'll quit out of here, do another test.html, go to insert mode, do, okay. So now we've got our Emmet is expanding kind of the way I like. But there's a lot of missing tags here. Um, we want to have a description tag for the browser, so that would be helpful. We also want to have uh, maybe some open graph tags, maybe if, in case we want our web page shared on social media, maybe a canonical link. Well, we can do all that, okay? So I'm gonna quit out of here and I'm gonna go back into my Vim RC and let's go down to this line with the viewport and I'm gonna go just do a YYP to yank and paste. And I'm gonna change this from viewport to uh, description, okay? And I'm going to get rid of this content here, okay? And if you'll notice, you can, see patterns to this code. Uh, you see these slashes here. Those are escape characters. 
for the quotation, so we need those. So now we've got a description tag in there. Okay, um, I'm going to take this and I'm going to do a YY and then um, do a paste. And I want to look and see what OG graph tags I might need. Okay, so I have one of my blogs here where I put them in, and I, I don't memorize these things. That's why I'm taking a look. So let's go down. I don't know why do cyclists lean forward? I think I probably included it here. Yep, and I'm going to look. Okay, so OG type article, and maybe we want a meta tag for the author too. Okay, so if you're doing a blog, so let's actually do the author tag. So I could just do that. Just do author here. Uh, and then do Timothy Unkert. Okay, um, let's do another, whoops, let me undo that. Uh, there, yeah. Uh, let me do a yank yank here, paste this down here. And we're gonna do an OG type, so delete the word, and I'm gonna put OG colon type, and I wanna put in here article, okay. Do a yank yank paste. What's the next one? Uh, OG title. Okay, so let's uh, do title. Okay, and we're gonna leave that one blank. Okay, let's do a yank yank paste. Um, OG image. Okay, and we'll leave that one blank. Uh, yank yank paste <laughs> again. Um, I think we probably want an OG description, but let's do an OG URL. I'm not going to do all of these, but I'll show you in a moment. So we'll do the URL and yank, yank, paste, and we'll do the site name. So let me actually, let me ZZ this, okay. And we'll do site underscore name, okay. And maybe... We'll also do a canonical link. So we'll put the links below the title. So let's do a yank yank, go here, paste, and we'll change this. Let's just delete out all this inner stuff here. So we're going to have link relation equals, we've got to do a forward slash colon. Uh, let's do canonical. Okay, forward slash colon. And then href equals, and we got to do a forward slash colon, forward slash colon, like that. Okay. We can also do a yank, yank, paste here and delete this word and do a style sheet, right? Okay. All right. So I'm going to quit out of here and save this, and I'm going to create a test.html. And now when I do this, I get all these tags in my framework. So you can really modify this uh, HTML uh, or this Emmet tag to really generate a lot of HTML for you. Now, there's one thing I notice up here with this code, it has language equals JA. I don't want that. So last thing I'm going to fix, uh, let me just quit without saving, go to the Vim RC. Let's find that. And I just want it to be en for English, so I'm just going to delete this and put en. Okay, and we'll quit out of here. Do my test.html. Go do the pound, and boom, we've got our HTML framework. So yeah, so you can really use this Emmet plugin to generate a lot of your HTML for you. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, could you please give it a like as it will help get out to more people. I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.